I just want to clarify something that I, uh, about my uh, video on benzo withdrawal and connective tissue damage. What I'm referring to here is my own situation, and I'm talking about if you are already genetically wired for a connective tissue disorder or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, that the benzo withdrawal can trigger that disorder that you already have laying dormant and make it become symptomatic, which can lead to a diagnosis. That's what happened with me. I had mild signs of it throughout my life. Like I could, uh, you know, people with airless stainless syndrome can often do party tricks. And um, for example, I could pop my hips out and I used to do that to, to freak people out and uh, other things like that. I've had a prolapsed organ, um, stuff like that. You can have various prolapsed organs like bowel, uterus, other in bladder, other internal organs higher up, um, and various other issues. So I do believe I had, you know, the the genetic blueprint for EDS. And when I'm talking about Banzo doing that kind of damage. I think it'll do damage to people who already have it, but it's never become symptomatic. It's not going to just, you know, in the benzo community, it's not going to just randomly start ripping people apart. You have to have that defect in your collagen, I think, for that to be happening. I'm not sure. This is all just my own uneducated theories, but I do know directly this damage happened directly from the benzo withdrawal, the tearing of the bottom of the feet, the arches, the throat collapsing. I'm wondering what internally, if it's done things to the heart or lungs and, and the breasts. A absolutely. So I know other people feel like their bodies are d getting damaged in various ways and stuff. For myself, my own situation, this triggered my EDS to become symptomatic.